Uh, pin 14 is also going to go to a ground line, and there's going to be a 220 nanofarad capacitor in between ground and pin 14. Uh, and this is a very vital c capacitor for um, screening off some of the the nasty nonlinear voltage stuff. And so make sure you have that in there. <coughs> um, also, where um, on line VCC, we're going to have a uh, um, 1.1 microfarad capacitor between VCC and ground. Um, 1.1 microfarad doesn't seem to be really all that important to be accurate. I think if you get anywhere close to that, I don't know, maybe you could be off 15, 20% or something, and you'll probably be okay. Um, RetroZone uses a different capaci capacitor value there. Uh, so that's about all there is for this, I suppose. So fairly easy once you look at it for a long time. Uh, not too bad. <clears throat> so once you plug in, once you have your, your controller programmed, obviously, and then, um, and then you plug everything in a long time of getting all the wires right and rechecking them and checking them again after it doesn't work, um, then it should just show up right here in the game controller section. It will say zero soft NES controller status OK. And then you can go to properties and then and then you have it. It should should work. No problem. So there it is. And soon I am going to try to fit all this wiring into the controller, like I said earlier. Um, basically I'm just gonna get rid of this this port J3 in the programmer and connect a lot of these directly to the chip so I can get rid of most of this wiring and Hopefully it'll fit inside, and maybe I'll make a video of that and show whether it does or doesn't fit. Um, that's one of the advantages of buying the the actual PCB board from uh, ZeroSoft. Um, this webpage will be on the on the info bar. Um, it'll it'll definitely fit in there if you buy this because there are no wires. So that's about it, I suppose. Um, I've been playing a lot of Nintendo lately, and it's pretty awesome. So, kind of going to be disappointed when I have to take this down because there's going to be a lot of, I'm sure, a lot of debugging and rewiring hardware when I get it wrong, and that'll kind of suck. But I'll see what I can do. All right.